Hello. I invested $50 million in Apple and Amazon nine years ago. I made $500 million off of it. I, you know, it's a 10 bagger, not that hard. I'm not proud of it. All I did was buy these digital networks when 99% of the people didn't agree with me when they were unstoppable and I waited. And, so I, and, and I swore to myself, if I ever saw another one, I wouldn't just do it personally. I would put my company into it. Many know Michael Saylor because of his infamous decision to turn his multi-billion dollar company's balance sheet entirely into Bitcoin. However, Saylor is not given enough credit for his savvy investment moves that originally made Saylor a billionaire. Saylor was an early investor into Apple, Amazon, Facebook and Google long before it was a clear decision that these would be leading tech companies. In his latest interview, Michael Saylor explains why Bitcoin is an even larger opportunity than the tech giants over the early 2000s and why investors are going to sell off every other asset for Bitcoin in due time. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will cover the latest on-chain Bitcoin data to see if it backs up Saylor's thesis. Also, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and can always change your mind. I think the people that f that lived the last decade, the first decade of Bitcoin, have been scarred by their experiences because they had a very volatile first decade. But I think that those are misleading because the system has evolved. Institutions have come into the marketplace. And, and since uh, March of 2020, it's totally different asset class. If you look at the chart since March, it, it goes up 50%, down 25%, up 50, retraces 20%. Up 60, retraces 25, 30. Up 50, retraces 25. And so it's actually sim simply growing from 4,000 to 60,000. Um, the way I explain it to people is if you studied LeBron James's career from age 9 to 18, he was talented but volatile. But it would be a mistake to extrapolate from the first nine years or first 10 years to the next 10 years. From age 18 to age 28, LeBron James was the greatest athlete in the sport and not volatile at all, not vol except in a good way. If you're staring at a basketball court watching stuff move, he's actually making everything happen. He's the volatile game maker that's destroying everybody, but it's not a bad volatility. The bad volatility, you know, you want to get rid of volatility, put a lump of rocks on the basketball court. You have no volatility. So. I'm not terribly concerned with the volatility. I think there'll be, I think there'll be ex accelerations and pullbacks, but the institutions are collaring it on both sides. The capital is not consumer leveraged capital, day traders. The capital right now is insurance companies, big public companies. We're coming in to buy it forever. We're not like, ask me what I'm going to sell it. Never. I'm not going to sell it ever. And so the narrative has rotated long-term institutional deep pockets and the asset class has matured. And of course, the law of large numbers say a trillion dollar entity has more inertia to it than a hundred billion dollar entity. And I, what do I expect to happen? I expect it will grow aggressively toward gold and it will flip gold and then it will demonetize gold and subsume gold. And pro probably it'll be first $10 trillion and gold is 10 trillion. Then it'll be 20 trillion and gold will be 5 trillion or four. And gold will eventually become an ornamental metal 
Bitcoin is going to suck the monetary energy off of negative yielding bonds. Tom, I, I ran a survey on my Twitter. I got 65,000 responses two days ago. I asked people, where did the money come from used to buy Bitcoin? 49% is stocks, 20% is gold, 10% is bonds, 19% is property. Basically, stocks are going to be negative yielding if you're value stocks because they can't keep up with the rate of monetary expansion. Everybody knows bonds are destroyed. Ray Dalio just told the world they're all negative yielding. By the way, he thinks they're negative yielding versus CPI. The real point is they're negative yielding versus the cost of capital or the rate of the monetary supply expansion, which is like 15 to 25 percent a year. They're screaming value destroyers. So I think that Bitcoin goes to 10 trillion and it's, it goes as fast as it can. And then it grows 50, 60 percent a year toward 100 trillion. And it slows down from 200 to 150 to 100 to 80 to 60 to 40. You know, you saw Google and Amazon growing at 20 percent a year off of large numbers consistently for the past five years. I think when it gets that big, it'll be growing 20 percent a year and eventually it'll subsume the total addressable market for treasury assets and then it will be growing at an organic rate five six seven percent a fair cost of capital i think the single most important thing you can do is estimate the annual rate of money supply expansion every year for the next eight years and if you think of that's 15 percent going to 10 going to five going to two going to zero then you're going to be more you're going to stick toward a traditional portfolio but if you think that money supply expansion is going to be 15 percent consistent then you got to go to scarce assets. Bottom line is, I don't think bonds or real estate work uh, as a store of value and in a, in a monetary inflation environment because they're both, one of them's a coupon and the other one's pegged to CPI or capped at CPI. I think that um, that value stocks are, you know, you've, you've basically got to invest in an index of, of equities that are going to grow or you got to invest in scarce assets. And, uh, if the if the uh, growth rate of uh, the money supply is 15 percent you better find a portfolio of equity that's going to grow 15 percent or better if you're going to store value in it otherwise i would i would uh, invest in trophy assets buy your house uh, on the beach that you want to live in the rest of your life because that'll always be valuable to you <laughs> with leverage i think you buy you buy scarce digital probably like bitcoin you buy things that are absolute, uh, buy something that a rich person is going to want to buy from you in a decade. Ask yourself that question. I'm not buying your New York municipal bonds yielding 2% in a decade, right? And, and you're going to get a negative 15% real yield. So, so I would think in terms of, of that trophies, equities, and then scarce assets. And obviously I'm biased. I think Bitcoin is the best property in the world. Figure out what your risk tolerance is for it buy that much of it and then diversify the rest across other things you know and you're comfortable with. Bitcoin is the world's best treasury asset. It's like 100x bigger than the next thing. The risk is a thousand times less than the next thing. The addressable market is 100 times bigger than it is right now. It's its own thing. Everything else in the crypto universe is venture capital. If you have a venture capital portfolio, if you have the wherewithal to invest in crypto ventures and you want to study it, well, the in my opinion, they have a 100x less addressable market and they're 100 times more complicated. But if you want to do that and you have the capital to do it, have at it. Mm -hmm. If what you want to do is just buy a bar of digital gold and wait, I mean, Bitcoin is is better gold than gold on a big tech network, right? It's just, you just buy a bunch and you wait. Like, we're not crazy. The point is, it's the world's first digital treasury asset. There's $100 trillion worth of treasury assets that are negative yielding debt or zero yielding debt or cash. And that's like, in essence, minus 15% real yield. All the bonds are broken. All the treasury strategies are broken. This is the solution to $400 trillion worth of investors' problems. They've all got the problem. It's the solution to 7.8 billion people's problem. They're all generating salaries in cash, which is debasing at 15% a year. And it's the most disruptive technology in our lifetime. And you know, I've, I've been on your show, you had me talking to you about eight years ago. We're talking about Apple and Amazon. If you recall, you could probably pull the clip. I invested $50 million in Apple and Amazon nine years ago. I made 500 million off of it. I, you know, it's a 10 bagger. Not that hard. I'm not proud of it.
All I did was buy these digital networks when 99% of the people didn't agree with me when they were unstoppable and I waited. And, so I, and, and I swore to myself, if I ever saw another one, I wouldn't just do it personally. I would put my company into it. So we ran into the biggest crisis of our career in 2020. I had 500 million in capital. I saw a digital network, which I think is 100 times better than Google or Facebook. It's Facebook for money. When Rupert Murdoch goes to Facebook, he doesn't bring a billion friends. He's not paying a hundred million dollars a month to watch Netflix. Okay. When you when a billionaire shows up to Bitcoin, they buy a billion dollars of Bitcoin. It's a bank in cyberspace. It's self-monetizing. And so I saw that. We bought some. It's working. There's an institutional rotation. All the institutions have the problem. They're all buying it. That's why it's gone from four thousand dollars a coin to sixty thousand dollars a coin in 12 months and quite frankly i think it's the biggest thing of our lifetime so there's michael saylor on why he thinks bitcoin is one of if not the investment opportunity of our lifetime to check out some recent on-chain bitcoin data to see if it backs up saylor's thesis out from on-chain analyst will clement a graph for long-term bitcoin holders if you judge the value of a network by its user growth like you would facebook or google as you can see bitcoin user growth is strictly up and to the right we also only have 10 years of data on this as bitcoin has only been around that long just imagine what the next 10 years is, is going to look like. Video right here, for you to discover the laziest way to make money online for beginners, which is available worldwide. If they actually purchase outright, uh, pay cash for a contract, then those, uh, those tokens will immediately be cashable. However, we do have a payment plan and those code tokens won't be cashable until the payment plan is, is uh, completed. So, you know, wealthy people, they borrow money to purchase real estate. They start businesses, invest in many things, stocks, bonds, currencies, you know, and that's how the rich get richer. But, you know, the, the, those kind of opportunities are not readily affordable or afforded to uh, average people. But what we're doing is we're giving you the opportunity to leverage our money interest-free to increase your own wealth. And this is, a, this is an opportunity that's never been offered before, I think, in the history of the world. So um, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty unique and it's, it's, <laughs> it's mind blowing really. Uh, but the best part of our loan offer is you, you don't need good credit to participate. Nobody's denied a loan. You don't pay any interest and you get the full value of your stake in contract the instant you make your first payment as if you had paid cash. So again, this is a new and unusual offer. We're giving it to our members and we believe it will allow many of them to achieve millionaire status on a very limited budget. So what makes NextGen different from other cryptocurrency opportunities? Number one, NextGen is a community that is uniting people around the world in business and in other ways that will allow them to profit. Number two, NextGen has its own currency exchange which will back our next gen coin and add value to it. The currency exchange is ready, but we're not, uh, we're not putting it out there just yet. Uh, next gen staking contracts, increase the number of your coins by 0.35% compounded daily. Uh, number four, next gen is the first and only cryptocurrency to offer loan contracts, which will give you seven times the number of coins that you pay for over the term of the 18 month contract. Number five, NextGen members can choose to increase their coins either passively through a staking contract or by receiving bonus tokens by actively referring others to attend our webinars. So the way you get involved with uh, take out one of our loans is you pick one of our existing monthly payment plans or you can create your own, uh, use any dollar amount. And then what you would do to, to determine your monthly payment is divide the total price by 18. And that would, uh, then you'd place your order from the NextGen website or call our customer service. And immediately you'll receive the same number of NextGen tokens as if you had paid cash. Currently your tokens will increase a number by points, uh, 3, 5% compounded daily. And that's gonna give you actually seven times the number of tokens that you paid for. So just for fun, let's liken our payment plan to a layaway plan. Imagine going out, uh, buying a, or 
putting a de- or getting a layaway on a brand new shiny car uh, with an agreement to pick it up after 18 equal payments. However, the dealer uh, puts that money into an interest bearing account at 0.35% daily to your delight upon making your final, final payment. <clears throat> the dealer gives you seven new cars for the price of one. And that's the equivalent of what you're getting with our payment plan. Now we make no guarantees that our lightweight plan will last forever. So get as many tokens as you can afford to get now without compromising other, other important things. Also, don't let your friends miss out on this once in a lifetime opportunity to leverage our money without paying interest to increase their wealth. I think, you know, I think the day is going to quickly come when if you haven't told your friends about this, you're going to be sad that you didn't. You're going to be kind of ashamed of yourself. So let's all get out there and share with others what this opportunity, uh, while this opportunity is still available. Okay, so we've added another alternative affiliate plan, and this is a, a, a two-level affiliate plan. Uh, and this is another way that you can grow your nest, nest egg of tokens by helping your friends acquire next-gen tokens. Now, this is perhaps the first two-by-two two matrix where nobody gets hurt. And the reason for that is because you're going to get 100% of the purchase price in next-gen tokens. And since they're projected to greatly increase in value, it's a win-win situation for everybody. And not only that, it's a way to earn unlimited next-gen tokens with very little money out of pocket. So this is how it works. Uh, it's a follow me plan. It's you and six other people. You can get started for as little as 43.75 and you will receive 43.75 worth of next gen tokens at the current price at the time of purchase. You then refer at least one person and when your matrix is completed, uh, you will receive $100 worth of next gen tokens plus a free re-entry at 43.75 into another uh, next-gen matrix. So you're gonna get basically get 143.75 worth of coins. In addition to that, you'll receive $20 worth of next-gen tokens for each of your personal referrals that complete a two by two multiplier matrix. So I, you know, I suggest you go out and refer a lot of people, folks, <clears throat> because the beauty of this is when somebody you refer completes a matrix, they're gonna get paid into a new matrix. And where are they going to go? They're going to go into your next matrix and you're gonna get paid for that person. When we pay that person into the matrix, you're gonna get part of that payment. So uh, heck of a deal. On the 8750 multiplier matrix, it works the same way. You get, uh, you get coins and then you get $200 worth of uh, tokens each time. Uh, you complete the matrix and another re-entry of 8750 plus you're going to get $40 worth of next gen tokens for each of your personal referrals that complete a matrix. Again, the 175 matrix works the same way. You're going to get your tokens plus $400 each time you complete the matrix and uh, $175 re-entry and $80 worth of tokens for each of your personal referrals that completes a two by two uh, 175 matrix. 350, again, the same way, 350 and 800, uh, 350 again for each uh, completion and $160 for each personal referral. $700 matrix, $700, $1,600 for each completion and plus uh, $700 for your re-entry and $320 for each uh, personal referral that completes their matrix. So some people want to start at the top. They'll actually come in and get all five matrices at the same time. Uh, in my opinion, this is a great deal because again, you're going to get, you're going to get $1,356 worth of tokens that are going to quickly increase in value. And, uh, each time you complete the five matrices, you're going to get $3,100 worth of next gen tokens and $620 each time a personal referral cycles through the five matrices. So um, no way to lose on this, folks. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. And I just recommend that everybody get a loan contract 
and get involved with the two by twos at the same time so that you've got two streams of coins coming at you. Uh, right now, the timing couldn't be better. So it is time to make a decision. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen and heard here today. I hope you see how that uh, we didn't uh, we didn't talk about our <coughs> Shop Freemart products. We do have another our other company, Shop Freemart. Shop Freemart was the creator of Next Gen Coin, by the way. So you know, once you start getting uh, wealthy with our Next Gen tokens, I suggest you go get some of our health products so you can live a long time and enjoy. Uh, the money that you're going to be making here. But anyway, uh, you know, there's a way here for you to bless others. I hope you can see that. And if you can, we invite you to get started today, get back to the person who invited you and uh, get your, your free membership and then get, uh, get some tokens, uh, hopefully with both a loan contract and, or a, either a, a paid up contract, a loan contract, and some two by two matrices. So we can go ahead and take some questions right now if you'd like. If you have customer service questions, I prefer if you'd call into customer service. This would be things that are website related. If you see any mistakes or you know, typos or uh, you're having problems making an order or something doesn't look right, you know, those are customer service questions. But if you have questions about uh, next gen coin, where we've been, where we're going, uh, those type of things, I'd love to entertain those right now. Okay, so there you go, folks. If you do have questions at the moment, you can already use the right raise hand button on your phone or I mean on your Zoom app, and we will be able to answer your questions. So first question is coming from Yeshua. Go ahead, Yeshua. Kindly unmute your microphone, please. How are you doing, Candice? Um covering from COVID. Um, anyway, um, my question is, um, since I guess December going into, we in January now, the um, back office um, has changed. And um, it, basically I was kind of like thrown off as to the, the, the um, what is being accrued from the um, staking. And um, it didn't, it, it, from, from my vantage point, it doesn't seem as though there's any movement. And um, I just wanted to know if there was something, uh, if, if, there's still, if, if there's some kind of um, back office maintenance taking place at this time. Uh, yes. Um, the, oh, go ahead, Candice. Okay. Yeah, you probably <laughs> you may have a, uh, more up to date information than I do. Go ahead. All right. So there you go, Yashua. Yes. Uh, since we do have our new dashboard at the moment, it isn't. Um. Um. Actually, it's not. It. It is more. Um. Actually, clear at the moment where you are going to see this. Um. The the updates when it comes to your smart contract points, okay? Uh, one, uh, when, because before, as you've mentioned, uh, you will be able to see that under the active deposits, I mean, total balance stakes that we've had before. But then again, they are already, whatever um, earnings you have or the daily staking payouts, you will be able to see them under the smart contract coins, okay? And then, Every transactions that you are having, especially with the new members at the moment, um, you will be able to see them under the smart contract transactions of your dashboard. So I would definitely uh, greatly suggest that everyone should attend on to our webinar this coming Thursday so that you will be able to see how it works, um, how your new dashboard works, because we will be explaining on the smart contract transactions and as well as your smart contract coins. Because on that part, you will be able to see there that the coins that you are having that you do have at the moment, they are already compounded compounded by 0.35% daily. So there wasn't any lost coins at the moment. 
and they are already included on that part. So I cannot just show you at the moment, but then again, on Thursday, I'll be more than happy to answer all those concerns. Yashra. And uh, we've already, I've already spoke with our IT guys regarding the commissions, and they said that they found out already what happened. That's why some, some of our members were actually do not see the movement because of that factor. But then again, they are, they worked on it already last night. And I believe so that they are uh, completely updated when it comes to your contract, uh, daily contract, daily staking payouts on the smart contract coins. Okay. But Yashua, if you would like, I can give you a call um, tomorrow so that Certainly. we can see the, the, the coins that are actually moving on your dashboard. Okay. Certainly. Thank you very much. Hey, there, um, I hope you feel better. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, yeah, there is something I explained yesterday. We had this question come up. And uh, so when, when we started out, we had, uh, had another employee that was working for us and he did some things that weren't, uh, weren't actually right. One of those things is he was paying out uh, staking coins, coins that came in from staking. And actually that is not legal. Uh, that's, not, that's not how the contract is written. In fact, uh, no company could survive, uh, no, no investment company could survive by paying out the interest, uh, paying out all the interest on money that's uh, put on a loan. So um, what we've done is we've included the staking, uh, we've, we've tied the staking coins to the contract, which should have been done initially. So before those were delineated as cashable coins, I do believe, and they're no longer delineated as cashable coins. The only cashable coins are your 10%, uh, your bonus coins that you get from a referral or the coins you earn in the two by two matrix, uh, matrices, those are cashable, or you can roll them up into a contract as well if you want to. So there are people who Basically, you know, they have to earn money. This is, this is their livelihood. This is how they put uh, food on their table. And so that's another reason we added the two by two matrix is so that people uh, could earn money right now, turn those, those coins into cash and put food on the table. So I don't know if, if that helps or not, but uh, yeah, basically if, uh, if we were, if how do I say this? Uh, we actually were reported to the SEC. Uh, that has been resolved, uh, so there is no there is no issue. There won't be any lawsuit coming out of it. Uh, but we cannot give staking. We cannot uh, cash out the staking coins. That's it's you know it's a violation of the contract and the SEC would shut us down if we continue to do that. Okay. Okay, there you go, Yashra. So thank you, John, for clarification. You. Okay, so there you go. Um, next question is coming from Ms. Laurie. Go ahead, Ms. Laurie, you're allowed to speak. Um, with a lot. We're not hearing you. Hello? Try again. Hello? Yes, Ms. Flory, go ahead. Can you hear me? Mm, not really. Okay, so while we're, we're waiting for Ms. Flory, go ahead, Larry, Mr. Larry Powell. Okay, good evening, Candice. Good evening, um, Mr. John. How are you guys doing? You're good. Thank you, Larry. Yes, I I always keep a tap on um things um on the figures, yeah, Mr. John. And um I put it in the chat group and somebody actually um uh, confirmed. It is uh 0.035% per day and not 0.35% per day. So it is a uh uh mistake on your guys' side. Not really a mistake. 
Okay, I, I, I fully understand what you're saying, Larry. <clears throat> if if um, there's a difference between multiplying a number by 0 0.035, okay, so if you multiply a number by 0 0.035, No, yeah, point zero, point, point, uh, hold on, point, point zero, zero, three, five. Yes, right. That is the correct figure, point yeah, zero, if you zero, three, yeah, if you, five. Yeah, if you do multiplication like that, that's true. But if you, if you times, uh, if you times the number by point three, five, and then you hit the percent key on your, on your calculator and you hit equal, it's going to come out the exact same number. It's well, the same. It's the same calculation. Either way you do it, so 0.35 percent is correct. Okay, one percent. Now think about this: one percent is one percent. 0.5 percent is a half a percent. 0.35 percent is a third of a percent. Very very simple. Well, I I did it. I did it earlier, and I got um. I get two different figures when I okay. when I did it by point zero zero three five and what makes it what makes it for me uh more stronger is that when i did it i got the same figure like what the computer on your side roll up for yeah. me so well, that is where there, I, I yeah there are very there are there are a few people that can't can't different differentiate between uh between these percentages and either way that we delineate it, some people are going to rebel. They're going to say, no, that isn't right. But I can promise okay. you it is right. Uh, my partner was, uh, was the head accountant for DuPont, a multi-billion dollar corporation for 25 years. I am a graduate of accounting school myself. I'm mm -hmm. pretty good with math, and I can promise you it is correct. All right, no worry. I you okay. know I just want I just wanted to that some persons because you all know Mr. John, two things. Not everybody who would get to ask a question. And some persons also are probably a little shy in asking the question. So when persons ask questions, yeah. some other persons might have the same question and it is yeah. cleared up, you know. The main thing the main thing, Larry, is that we are legal and that we we're not saying something that's gonna come back and bite us. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if, if there are people that don't understand it, those things can be resolved. But if you're, if we were to put out the wrong percentage, then we would be locked in. You know, the the regulators yeah. would would force us to uh, make that good. And if it was the wrong percentage, if it was too high a percentage, obviously we couldn't make it good. So, yeah, mm -hmm. appreciate that point. No worries, man. You you're good, my friend. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Good, good. Yes, Miss Laurie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Yes, we can. Go ahead. So how do I get started with the loan contract and the two by two? I couldn't hear the question. Can you translate? <laughs> me too. I'm so sorry, Miss Laurie. Um, she you... was, she's asking how does she get started with the contract and the two by two? Oh, okay. Miss Laurie, will it be fine if I can give you a call tomorrow regarding Sorry. that one so I can further assist you? So uh, don't you worry, okay? I'll just be um, giving you a call and then we will uh, discuss all these things then by tomorrow. All right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Laurie. Yes, uh, Mr. Desmond Samuels, go ahead. Yeah, my um, it's my first time listening. I um, I the the contract. So if a person takes the loan, or if a person purchase outright, the when do they when are they able to access or to withdraw money? Do they have to wait until the end of the eighteen months, or is there a difference? Uh, well. Actually, there will probably be an option where, where people can withdraw money early. Once we go live on the exchange, <clears throat> that, that uh, alternate, uh, alternative uh, plan will probably be available. Uh, right now, let's say, uh, 
I would just, you know, I put it this way. The contract says 18 months. And uh, if, you know, if the contract goes 18 months, then after 18 months, you would be able to cash those out. However, I, I believe uh, once we go live on the exchange, that people will be allowed to, uh, to exchange on, uh, coins on the exchange, sell them on the exchange. Uh, and as far as coins that are cashable right now, if you refer somebody that pays ca uh, an outright contract, they pay for the full contract, you're going to get 10% of that contract, which is cashable right now. Okay. So, so those coins are not part of the contract. Those are, those are bonus coins that are given, and they are not locked into a contract. However, if you want to add, and, and they do not draw interest, okay? The bonus coins are not in a contract, so they're not, they're not staking. They're not, they're not compounding at 0.35%. But there is a button by your commission coins where you can click and roll them into your uh, loan contract, and they will begin compounding at 0.35% also. So with the, um, with the loan, are, is it set up in terms of increments or who decides what you do? Say, for example, do you have it, say, a $1,000 block, $1,500 yeah. block, $500? Okay. Yeah, we do have some pre-set pre amounts. However... Uh, you can choose. You can choose the dollar amount you want. Let's say you want to do a thousand and five dollars, or you want to do five hundred and fifty dollars, or one hundred and twenty-five dollars. You can choose your own amount, and then the the monthly payment will be determined by dividing that total by eighteen. So that will be your. It, you'll have eighteen equal payments. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And but what if a person decides to pay up front instead of doing the monthly payments? What are the means of payment? Credit card or it's by Yeah, yeah, we do crypto? have we do have credit card, we take crypto. Uh, you can do bank wire, you can uh, you can do we have uh, I think it's called Zelle, the different bank transfers, different ways you okay. can do that. Uh, you can walk into one of our banks and do a just a put down cash and deposit into our account number. So plenty of ways. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Desmond. All You're right. Welcome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Gary, go ahead. You're recognized. Yeah. Thank you for taking my call. John, I was just wondering uh, on the two by two uh, program, you know, I, when I first got in, I did get involved, but I don't have a sponsor that's able to help me right now. She's got some concerns going on in her life, and but I need to talk to somebody about this. And when I get people that sign up, like I got a couple people that purchased a thousand dollars worth of cryptocurrency mm -hmm. on a contract, but I didn't talk to them about the two by two. Is that a separate? thing that we have they have to buy separately than the contract it it doesn't yeah. automatically enroll you in that correct? no 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 you there there are two separate purchases uh you're walking into the same store but you're, you're buying two separate items um or you've got multiples actually because you've got the outright contract you've got the loan contract you've got the 4375 matrix you've got you know, the different variations of the matrix, and those are all individual purchases. Um, and I, but, I, see it, I see it when you go on, the, on there, but I don't know exactly how all that works because I don't have somebody I can visually talk well, to. Well, yeah, you, 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 you do have people to talk to, Gary, and all you have to do is point your people to this webinar. If they come to the webinar and they like the sound of the contract, they'll figure out how to buy one. Because if you can't figure it out from the website, all you got to do is pick up the phone. We've got customer service. I think they're there roughly 12 hours a day. You know, so very, very convenient for everybody. Okay. And everybody is the same. It's not difficult, Gary. You're, you're making it far too difficult. Well, I'm just, I don't understand. There's questions yeah. that I don't understand, like the 43 and then the 87 and it goes up. Why would you want to buy all of them at one time? For the thirteen hundred. Well, because 
if you buy the uh, if you buy the forty three seventy five and you sponsor somebody that comes in at one of the higher matrices, you're not going to earn money. You're not going to earn coins in that matrix until you upgrade to that matrix yourself. Okay. That's the that's but the reason we have multiples there is uh, because we have people that want to be you know at the seven hundred dollars. They don't want to you know they don't want to. They don't want to take a lot of time to start at 4375 and then upgrade to the next one and upgrade to the next one and up to finally get up to the top. So typically they'll just start at all five and then they're qualified to earn coins in every single one of those. And if people that they refer purchases any one of those and, and starts working, then they're going to earn uh, from each of the matrices, not just one or two. Okay, now I think I understand a little more clearly now. I appreciate that. It was never really explained completely. So okay, I apologize. I That's, yeah, good point. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you so much, Gary. And yes, Claude, you're recognized. Go ahead, kindly unmute your microphone if you can hear us. Yes, uh, good. Uh, yes, hello, John, and uh, thank you so much for the quality of the web platform of NextGen and and Shop Fremont. My question is: My sponsor advised me that uh, we we are not Gen, NextGen is not on a big rush to do the smart contract paper. Explain to me how come you're not in a rush to do the the white paper, John? <laughs> well, part of it stems from from things that were done with the person I employed to create next gen coin. Uh, that was, that was a lot of it. Okay. And then uh, we decided we're going to rebrand everything. And that's part of what you're going to see here in the next few days. Uh, and so it couldn't possibly have been released before this time. And then there were other things too, because, uh, we're making a lot of additions uh, to what we were originally had intended to do. And you're going to see those in the next few days as well. I wish I could just lay it all out for you today, but you've waited this long. So just. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when do you expect, when do you expect something to see on the next gen website about the white paper in one week or one month? <laughs> but if, I know the next gen coin will probably rise, and the most important is the rising of the coin. Yeah. I know white paper is a, is a lot of headaches, but uh, it just, I saw yesterday night that you talked that also the the next gen coin is so solid by one point two billion dollars uh, real estate and all that stuff. So yeah, I see that it's very solid and. Continue your good work, and we will follow you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, John. <laughs> Basically, let me let me put it this way: there are some people that will not buy in until they have a white paper, and that's yeah. okay. That's okay. They just won't get it for nine cents. They'll get it for a dollar, or you know, they will they will get it at an inflated price, an increased price. But that's okay too. Uh, that's, that's not a problem, and they will buy in. I, I can assure you that's not going to be an issue. Uh, they'll buy in at a dollar. They'll buy in at $10. They'll buy in at $30. They'll buy in at $1,000. They'll buy in at $100,000. In uh -huh. fact, when, when our coin gets to $250,000 per coin, that's when the big, big investors will jump on board. All right. That's, that's the way this industry works. So, that's, okay, that's the way love goes. Yeah. All right, John. <laughs> All right, thank you, Claude. Thank you. Thank John. you, Claude. Go ahead, Mr. Alexander. You're recognized. Kindly unmute your microphone, please. Thank you. Can you hear me, Candice? I can hear you. Yes, sir. We can. Okay. I just first off, thank you all for <clears throat> all of the work that you've done. It's pretty exciting. Uh, just have a couple of questions. If a person comes in and buys a contract and they pay for the contract in total, mm -hmm. uh, does that automatically go? Can they do the, do the coins roll up 
uh, do they get commissions on that contract they've already paid for, even though the contract is not mature? Yeah, commissions commissions paid on that contract are are cashable. They're immediately cashable as long as the contract is paid up. Now, okay. those uh, the staking coins can't be pulled out, uh, like I had mentioned earlier. Okay. But uh, I do believe that before the before the eighteen months is up, if you want to take coins out and uh, sell them on the exchange, I think that's going to be available. I can't. I can't promise that. These are things we've talked about, uh, and it looks uh, it looks like that's the direction we're going. But you know, it's it's a it's a day at a time, a step at a time, and it's you know it hasn't been carved in stone, so to speak. Okay, I understand. Uh, just one other question: uh, <clears throat> There are two areas where we can roll up coins. Uh, one of them. The one where total loan commissions that seem to be automatic. Uh, am I am I right? Do we have to roll that one up too? I think that was automatic. Now, well, the staking coins was automatic. However, we had some people that complained about the automatic roll up of the staking coins. Uh, in other words, for whatever reason, they just want to go. They they really liked going in and clicking that button. <laughs> so, <laughs> not truth, truthfully, I'm I'm serious. Uh, they they really like the interaction on the website. So, I don't know if that has been reversed or not. We did have it, so the the staking coins were rolling up automatically. The okay. others the others have to be done manually. Well, John, just a, just a question. This is just a question. Mm -hmm. it, would it be? possible or would it make sense if all of the coins both for the commission and the staking automatically rolled up and if you wanted to stop the roll up then there would be another button a pause button that you could pause it well that would be maybe a possibility Willie but it would require uh, too much programming and our, our programmers are, are actually we're paying them overtime right now Okay. Because okay. because of the number of projects that we've got going, so there I, there's not another minute in the day to even uh, you know address those kind of questions. <laughs> okay, I understand. The only reason I ask that question is because there are times when I might forget <laughs> and I want my cord. <laughs> I want to roll up without me. <laughs> Don't forget, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I push the button. Yeah, just. Uh, just think okay. this. Just just when you go to bed, you think, "Hey, I'm losing money. <laughs> I better go push the button." <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Willie. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Willie. Go ahead, Alan. You're recognized. Uh, thank you, Candice, for the opportunity, and also for John. I thank you for making yourself available to ask these questions. Um, on the new uh, on the new dashboard, it's showing my smart coins are going up. I had, and just as well, I took a, a screenshot of both of them. I had ninety six point seven nine, which enabled me to roll up uh, a thousand one thousand coins plus the ten percent, and that went on. And I've watched uh, my smart contract coins are increasing. But the total commission is still selling at zero. Uh, and actually that 96.79 came all of a sudden too, out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, well, the, the uh, commissions being zero, if you go down below, if you go down below the, uh, the, what you're looking at right now, the total coins, et cetera, you'll see the individual deposits into your account from staking, from commissions, et cetera. So if you've got some, if you're showing some commissions down below that aren't being added to your total commissions, then uh, then call into customer service and let's uh, let's take a look at that. But yeah, right, John. The other thing I want to say: all of us trust the money that the government gives us. It's only paper money, and I'm on a pension, and they give me. So we trust 
the money that the government gives us, we trust it. We can use that to buy groceries and, and things. And now with this next-gen coin, you're asking us to, tr we have to put our trust in the next-gen coin. It, it, so uh, I'm thankful that you're making yourself available and your name and reputation is at stake here because we have to trust you. The person you did employ, he's, he said, you know, they can't pay me enough to tell a lie. There is no coin. So I had to decide who I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust you or that person that you employed. You know, he's, he's, he's already promoting another coin that he's saying is real and genuine and got smart contract and everything else. But yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm fully, uh, fully aware of what he's doing. I'm not following it, obviously, but, uh, yeah, he took my computers to, uh, he, he locked up, he locked up our office that had all of our computers and he took my computers, uh, to, to create what he's doing. Yeah, but and he I, told me, I, listen, and John, please. I, I, I had, just I don't, that. don't, don't, don't. Okay, I'm sorry. I had but to, he, he told I, me I the had, opposite. He told had, me the opposite. You went out and bought new computers and wouldn't use the second-hand computers he had. So okay. somebody, well, you that's know. That's fine. That's fine. Not, so I have We're, to decide who's telling the truth. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Okay. I'm not no, I'm not arguing. I believe All you, right. John. I believe you okay. 100%. That's why I'm still here. And I'm yeah. so thankful for what you're doing. I'm putting my money where my yeah. mouth is. I can Everything promise you. I'm as much as I can. I can promise you that everybody. Increase. If you'll allow me to talk, please. I can sure. promise you that everybody that puts money into his program is going to lose their money. And one reason I can tell you that is because he embezzled a lot of money from my company and he's on charges right now for embezzlement and there's no way for him to, to escape it. The evidence is so, uh, so airtight that he will go to prison. That's all I have to say. And you needed to say that too because... He's trying to, um, you know, influence. Yeah, he he's has, got access to, to the members and he's trying to get them yeah, to come over he, to his coin and saying, you don't have a coin. Not only did That's he steal my computers, but he stole my database and he's been contacting our, our members and trying to destroy exactly. our company. But that's okay. That's okay. It isn't working for him. Yeah, he is, he is conning some people out of money, but it's only, it's only short-lived. He won't, he won't be free for too much longer. Yeah. Thank you, John. I appreciate you very much. And I, I do believe and trust what you're saying. All right. You know, I, I really don't like to go down this rabbit hole. Uh, this is, you know, there's a lot of people that really don't need to know this information because they weren't here when it happened. Uh, and, you know. But many are still being contacted by him. Like you say, he's got the database. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know, and you wonder, so we have to make a decision who we're going to trust. Well, and, what, I, I, and, and we needed to hear what you've just said. Don't trust Tom. Yeah. Trust well, John. you know, I don't want to talk bad about anybody. I would prefer people just come to our webinar and you realize too. that what we have is real and that, you know, whatever he's doing doesn't hold a candle to what we're doing. Not, not at all. Even if, even if he was legitimate. Uh, you know, he can't compete with what we're doing. So I'm not worried about that. I do feel sorry for the people that are get, that are going to be hurt, that are being conned out of the money. But, uh, you know, everybody has to make their own choices. I'm doing the best I can to, uh, you know, create a great opportunity here for folks. And that's That's all I can do. And I appreciate you, John, and thank you so much. Thank you. So I've been involved with some. I've been scammed by so many you know, new, bright, shiny things. But finally, I can say I'm earning every day, even though I haven't recruited anybody. Mm -hmm. and I just want to say one more thing about the two by two uh, matrix that people are a little confused about. And I want to speak from experience because I've been a member of the Shop Free Mart two by two matrix. Um, don't, there's no point in buying those five matrices if you don't, haven't got anybody following you. You're better off putting it in the staking account. 
But if you're going to build a team and believe in networking, and no, it's not a pyramid because it looks like a pyramid, but we all start at the top with nothing. And any spillover we get, your sponsor can't help you once you've... Uh, if you're on the bo if you're on his bottom, you're starting from a fresh, and you're not going to get any spillover from your sponsor. So it's up to you to build a team. You can't complain. It doesn't matter whether your sponsor's helping or not. It's up to you to build a team to follow you, and believe in it. I reckon it's great and tremendous, but it's up to me to build a team to follow me, of people who believe in networking. If they don't believe in networking, think it's a pyramid or whatever. They can earn passive money without recruiting, and there's no point in in buying buying uh, the centres unless. You, but there's you've lost nothing with start with one, and then the 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 profits enable you to to move up to each one of them. And it's true what John says. He he understands it. I believe he's he's telling the true story, but it's for people who believe in networking. If you don't believe in networking or believe anybody. You can recruit anyone, put your money in the smart contract and get interest on it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Alan. Let's take another question. Uh, but uh, Alan is right. If you're not going to recruit, if you, you know, if you have no intention of recruiting, then d just put your money in the contract. Uh, but if you do intend on sharing it with the uh, folks, uh, you can get a lot of coins with the two by two, a ton of coins if you, if you work it hard. Okay, thank you so much, Alan. Go ahead, uh, Joey. Oh, good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, just to comment on all that, uh, John, the fact that he's uh, what he's doing is contacting your people just shows what kind of a person he is, totally unethical. But even if his program was legitimate, it does not in any way, shape, or form compare with what we've got going here with NextGen. And the two by two uh, multiplier, I think, is the greatest networking opportunity ever in the history of network marketing. I've never, ever seen a program in 50 years of marketing where what, what you're buying into, what you're paying to buy into, and what you're getting is money. <laughs> you're taking money that uh, amounts to nothing, $43.75, that will never be m worth more in 43.75 and just you're buying if you never do anything if, if, if people that sometimes join network marketing programs and do nothing they lose their money in this program if you did absolutely nothing that 43.75 increases at one uh, percent every three days so there's no way anybody could lose but i think it's got to be the simplest program to ever introduce to people and i think these folks really need to pay attention to that uh, we, we, I, I think the multiplier is a monster of an opportunity for even the most inept marketer. Uh, just to turn on two people and see what happens with that is just phenomenal. I just wanted to comment on something you said, John. When our coin reaches two hundred fifty thousand dollars, we are going to be the monster investors. <laughs> That's all I yeah. got to say. <laughs> I think what you're saying, Joey, is some of us might even be trillionaires. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joey. <laughs> well <Okay>. said. <laughs> okay. So um, there are lots of questions in the chat box, and that's one is from Haley Berkeley, but um, Haley will going to be contacted by Mel so that she will be able to um, address all, all the concerns uh, because I think um, Haley is new to the next gen, so we will be more than happy to assist you with that one, Haley. Okay? So there you go, you. folks. You're welcome. You're welcome, Miss Haley. There you go. So would there be um, no more questions at the moment? And if you do have some, do not hesitate to give a call 